Hey kiddos, welcome back to 101 Bible Bedtime Stories with Third Sky. Today we are going to be reading Jacob and Esau. Turn to page 24 and Bible wise, Genesis 25 through 27. Let's get into this. So yes, kiddos, we are in Jacob and Esau. Please and thank you turn to page 24 if you have the book. If not, you guys, I encourage you to go buy your lovely book on Amazon. Make sure it's hardcover so you can hear the knock. <laughs> but yes, it's a beautiful navy blue book. You guys seen the picture. But anyways, like I said, if I mess up, I will rephrase myself. Sorry, guys. I am reading this along. And I'm sorry I wasn't able to post it. But I am recording it right now. Like I said, I just opened my beautiful book, just as I always tell you guys. So let's get started. I haven't read this yet. So let us read. It says, Jacob and Esau. It says, when Rebecca was old, she had Isaac, had twins, Esau, the firstborn, who was rather hairy. And Jacob... Esau became a great hunter while Jacob spent more time at home. One day, Esau was so hungry, he agreed to give Jacob his birthright in exchange for a plate of stew. When Isaac was very old and nearly blind, he prepared to give his blessing to his eldest son, Rebekah was especially fond of Jacob, so she helped him tie goat skin around his arms so he would be hairy like his brother. Believing him to be Esau, Isaac gave Jacob his blessing, putting him in charge of the family when Isaac died. <clears throat> it says... Esau was so angry he wanted to kill his brother. Jacob had to leave home for his own safety. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me for today's story. And yes, so yes, the mom, it's what it's talking about. I guess she would favor her son, Jacob, which, you know, it's obviously, I encourage your parents not to favor any child, you know, because it does hurt us, won't lie, but, you know, this is the story we read today, but I encourage everybody, you know, not to favor anybody, because we're all equal, we're all alike, especially under God's eyes, we're all the same, but yes, my little boys and girls, I know the story was rather short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for coming and enjoying this beautiful story. Please and thank you, you know, subscribe, share, 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 share with your little friends and with everybody, you know, and parents. Always read along with me if you guys have the book, you know. <laughs> but yeah, guys pretty much and it's talking about though how the brother was angry he wanted to kill his brother so yes this does happen in 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 some life you know originally but you know i encourage everybody to stay humble let's all be equal to one another not be angry or mad towards each other and parents please don't favor one over the other we're all equal you know and I speak for the youngins, and I speak for us, the adults, and everybody, technically. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please come back tomorrow and enjoy the story with me of Jacob's dream. But yes, these images are lovely. And like I said, I encourage you guys to read with me if you can. If not, it's fine. I will read to you. You'll see the lovely pictures on the screen. Also, I'd want to say, I'm sorry if sometimes my images come out a little blurry. It's because of the editing. You know, I want the picture to look as big as possible. So my editing is a little, ee, you know, which I'm sorry about that, guys. But I try, you know. The whole important thing is that we're reading the beautiful story, you know. And if you guys don't have the book, you know, just buy the lovely book on Amazon. Hard to cover, so we could knock and be like, oh, bam, beautiful book. <laughs>
But yes, guys, now I would like to make my lovely prayer. Like I said, thank you all very much for coming to be here and read with me. And those of you listening, thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys. All right. <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, tonight I pray that all these little angels are having a lovely, you know, dream father or have lovely dreams and had a lovely day i also want to say to forgive every single one of us for our sins and everything bad we've done or said if we've offended you in any way father we're sorry please forgive us please don't think you help all these children's father not to be mad at their siblings father at all to always father be humble to one another including you know any grand parents you know fathers children's anybody father don't let nobody choose one over the other father that isn't fair for us you know i went through something like that as a childhood and you you see how how it affected us in life but thank the lord we all f you know fixed our situations here but father i pray for all these children please help them and now i pray father so you could heal anybody who's sick out there and if you guys are having any disturbing thoughts or dreams, in the name of Jesus, we grab all those evil spirits and descend them to the abyss. Please kick Satan away from their lives, Father. Let these little angels sleep well, Father, and have a wonderful day tomorrow. We love you and we praise you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you guys for tuning in today. God bless you all. Much love and respects. Please and thank you, like I said. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Lots of shares. So that way we could enjoy this beautiful book and, you know, get it out there, guys. You know, for anybody out there, like I said to your little friends that don't have anybody reading to them. Or if you just are, you know, bookworms, you know, you love to read, then just come read along with me. And parents, yes, if you have the book, read along with me. <laughs> it's always fun. But all right, guys, thank you for tuning in. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.